<laughs> hey, Rupert, you okay? <laughs> hey Kirk, you all right now? You all right darling? You got your pencils ready? Mainly going to be pencil today. We might, we might get to do some uh, colour on the, the fish but I don't know whether we will because I'm going to go nice and slow. Um, so it might take, what we are going to need is um, pencil HB pencil. I'm going to use a 2B because it shows up better in the camera. And a uh, black, this is a black ink pen, but you can use a black biro or a black felt tip. If, as long as it's got a fine line, that's what we want. So this is um, a 0.5. <laughs> oh, fantastic. You enjoy you. You used to leave, darling. Blue tack for your rubber. Yeah, blue tack for your rubber. Oh, that's the same as this one here. This one here is uh, something called a kneadable eraser. It's a posh term for basically blue tack. <laughs> that's what it is. You pay a lot more for a fancy kneadable rubber, high quality. Than you do for some blue tack. So this is what we're drawing today. It's koi carp. Putty, exactly. It's the same thing. It's a putty rubber. It's exactly the same thing. It's a putty rubber, darling. It's exactly what it is. So if you got your pencil nice and sharp. We are gonna head in because we we are five o'clock. So for anyone that's only just joined us, this is what we're drawing today. It will basically be used in pencil and an ink pen and a rubber if you need it. But to be honest, I haven't rubbed out any of my lines. If I take this a little bit closer to the camera, you can probably see. I haven't rubbed out, come on focus, look right. 
I haven't rubbed out any of my pencil lines. They're still underneath the ink lines. Let's put that to one side. So the first thing we are going to do is we're going to draw the spine of our fish. And the spine of our fish is basically a letter J. So if I show you first, so we want the spine of our fish. It's a hook. Or a letter J. That's the first thing we're going to do. And then what I want you to do is to make a mark about here on your J. And then we're going to be drawing one side of his face. So we're going to be drawing, if we go round... Kind of like that shape. Okay, and when we've done that, see we've got the tip of here, we're going to draw a line there, I'm going to get my pencil out, it's slightly too dark. It's just a, a line that way and that's going to help us get our other line in. So then as we've done this side of the fish head, we're going to be doing this side of the fish head. So this is going to be, if you echo this kind of shape, so you're echoing that kind of shape there. And then we're taking it round and we're joining here. Sorry. We're joining the bottom here. So we're going to take it round. And see this shape that you've done here, this tail shape, you're going to do a tail shape there as well. So you're echoing that shape there. You're coming in and then you're echoing that shape there. So coming in and going out. Get my whole picture. There we go, that's better. Okay, so that's already, with those three little lines, the basic shape of a koi, even though I was, oh, it's too hard, it's not too hard. It's not too hard at all. So the first thing we're going to do on his tail is because koi's don't have a tail that is that shape, we are going to just take that in ever so slightly. Now you can do whatever shape you kind of fancy there.
because you can make your tail is is long and is that you think of koi carp some of them have quite um fluttery tails that are a bit like butterflies wings don't they and other ones have have shorter tails so once you've got that line in you can get your rubber and you can rub that straight line out And just so we know where our tail is finishing, we're going to give the end of the tail, the beginning of the body, just a little kind of V, soft V, soft V shape. So next we're going to give him a fin here, so we need to come along and flick out. And then join in there. Well, that's one fin. You aren't going to see the other fin because I should have learned the names of fins, shouldn't I, before I did this. This dorsal fin here that is going to be, we're going to be popping in, is going to be hiding. The other side so that's the only one you're putting in that side so next we are going to from this tip here I want you to give yourself another line just out And where we're going with this, if you give yourself a little dot there, you can see that's it there. We're going to do another one of those swoops. If you think about when we were doing the um, petals and we were drawing all the petals and some of them, if um, they're face on, you can't see them. So what we're doing with the dorsal fin of the fish is it's going to be bending one way and then the other way because of the angle that the fish is. So what we need to do here is as we've done this line here, we're going to give a flick up there with that line and then this line is going to join that little mark there that you've put in it's that simple so we need to get that over there And then we can rub out this line here, this little body line here, we can get rid of that. So 
So the next thing we're going to do is do these fins here. So another line that way. And I want you to do the same thing on this side. So a line, a line that way. And as we've done here, I want you to do, you could let your line go over that line slightly and then give yourself a couple of little frills. It will become clear later. And again, on this side, you're going to do the same thing. Give yourself a couple of, of frills. It's actually being like a little bit bigger. See, I'm fiddling and I shouldn't be fiddling. So once we've got that shape, I want you to come along with that line there. I want you to take yourself in and out and round. And I think that really is the only but it's like a, a flat M shape. As we've got to here, I'm going to be doing another shape. So we start at the mouth. We give ourselves another one of those flick lines out. We come back in. And we meet that line there. So it's kind of a, a flat letter S. And once we've done that, we need to give him his whiskers. So we're going to take these out and round. And then following that little shape that you've made and round, making him his little whiskers. And then what we need to do is take off this tip, so flattening that off slightly. Just rounding that off. I'm nearly done with most of our shape now. We just need to get his eye in. So, 
lots of different ways of doing eyes. What I have noticed when I've been looking at illustrations is some of them don't look natural at all because a lot of the uh, quick art that you actually look at are quite stylized. So what I'm going to do is give yourself a tiny little hump over that side just there and then echo that hump there and then a slight circle. Okay, so everyone okay so far? Pretty much got most of the shaping that we need. What we're going to do now is give these wings, wings, these fins a little bit more definition. Now we've got them where we want them, we just need to give them a little bit more definition. So this one, I want you to pull up. And pull up there. I'm going to take this a little bit out because this that's pretty poor. Let's put them down a little bit more. I think I'm going to do it that way. So with this one now, I want you to take out that little bit of the body that you can see. So what we're going to do with this one is we are, see where you've drawn your little scallop line. I want you to take a line through meeting that line there. And again with this one, I want you to take a line through and meet that one. And this is all to get the lines in ready for when we're going over with the ink pen in a little bit. And then on this side, I want you to do the same thing. So these are coming here. And here. And then the one I don't like there. That is not the way I want it. Move him in for now, we're working out. And we're going to do the same with the dorsal fin. So what I want you to do is take that out. And that type of shape. And then take yourself down, take that line in. Then here, take yourself out slightly. Another little one of those bummy M shapes that we did over here. And this inside, I want you to take over there. And this way, 
we're going to be doing the opposite way around. So these are more going to be more like letter W's. And then we take that to the end of that dorsal fin. So scallops, but they're the opposite way round. these lines exactly the same as we were doing before so I've got that body line so I'm going to just get rid of that because that's confusing me as I draw So scallop, 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 up, and then we'll go in taking our lines as we did over here, same thing, taking our lines up, and out. And we get down to the tail. Going to be doing exactly the same thing. So let's give it a bit of a scallop, 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 and then bring that one out and a bit of a scallop. And then these are going to be coming in. And you've already got that little scallop there, so that is the one you're taking up and in. So there we go, that's the start. And we'll have boy carp. So next we get our ink pen. And first of all we rub out this line here just to the other side of the head. You don't have to rub it out so it's completely out because you can actually use that as a little bit of texture. <laughs> Me too. How many times did I say scallop? A million? So we get our pen, this is where we can get some fun texture in. <laughs> so where should we start, where should we start? So we'll start with his whiskers. So we have got his whiskers, so let's take our pen. now. Basically what we're doing now is going over our pencil, but then we're going to be adding a little bit more texture to the fins, to the scallop fins. <laughs> so let's give this a little bit first. If you touch it very lightly, it does give a nice effect. Well, this is the way that, that I do it anyway. People people do it differently. They they press quite heavy and block and then take it all in, but I don't tend to because I like this cat right. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull it in now. Because we've done the whole shape. 
So we are now up to, once it focuses, there we go, that's better. So if we then get into this one over here. And then we give the head and the eye. We're just kind of going over everything. Now we can rub out that line there. It might be worth waiting until you know your ink's dry before you put your rubber next to it. And then with this eye, we kind of come round. Give it a bit, but don't colour it all in because it's nice to look like it's got a bit bit of a glint in his, his little fishy eye. Maybe a couple of little lines that way. And we'll get the rest of this body in. That, that's the beginning so if we go over everything that we've penciled so we'll do this fishy fin first give it a little bit more looseness now that we've got Our shape. We can kind of go and give it a bit more looseness. So if we follow that crease, follow that crease, we've got that. So what we then do is follow the fin. Give it that little bit more 3D and again we follow this fin following the line and then finally this one Those lines of extra lines just gives it a little bit more definition. So that's what we're going to do on the other one now. So I'm just going to turn him around, take him up and round this way. So we've got our little scallop. these in and then Okay, we've got that in, so we'll concentrate on this dorsal fin now, so let's get that body shape in.
and then again I'm taking a little bit of pencil out I'm going to start from here so we start from this central point and work our lines out from that central point again here working our lines out from that central point So then we are on these bottom ones. Tail. I'm not following the pencil lines religiously because I always think it's quite nice to give it a little bit of extra zhuzh because you know where you you know where your pencil lines are so you know where your shape needs to be it's just finding that little bit of confidence to think Right, okay. Kind of know which way it's going. Let's kind of run with it a little bit more. Okay. So we've got, I think, most of our lines in now. So we need to give him a few little. Now, we, if you think when we were at school, when we would do scales, we do a whole, all the scales all over the fish. So what we're going to do is just the impression of scales. So we're going to give a couple of patches, and scales are U-shaped, we know that, we remember that from school. I'm just going to give it over, especially over where the, the darker areas would be. A few little few shapes just to give the impression because we don't want to be going all the way over god that'll take until next week <laughs> so we go especially along this band so if we put All our little scales in. And when we get some over here, we get a few down here as well.
Then we're just some kind of little touches so we can see that the fish isn't smooth. So just kind of little taps with your pen. This is the Zen bit, this is where we fall asleep. Because all we're doing is little tiny. Little marks with our pen. We think maybe that won't be where his shine is, so we'll possibly leave that. Void, and then we put some more over this side. Once we've got the scales in, we can give him a little bit more definition on his face and his eyes and on his whatever that bit is. I have no idea. Then you're nearly done, so let's give a scallop a little bit more scallopy. I don't think we'll use colour today, I think we will leave him as a black and white fishy because I like him as black and white fishy, I think he looks quite cool. So we will just Maybe put a little bit more pen in. And then if we think about action lines, so this little fishy is jumping up out the water. So we want to give him some little action lines so he looks like he absolutely is jumping out of the water. We think of blobs of little dashes of water and things that would be flying off him. <laughs> Don't worry. That's why I, I thought, no, we, we won't, we'll just carry on. 
that's fine. I mean, the scales are the nice bit, actually, the, the bit where you kind of just sit and think, hmm, I'd happily do these all day. So don't worry, Kirk, it's fine. So we carry on. A few more. Don't forget to send me pictures. I need pictures. It's lovely to see pictures. Because it makes me feel like I have actually done something today. <laughs> Not just sat by myself drawing. I think he's done, so I'm going to give it a Bob Ross signature. And I think that is all. Finishing a little bit, a little bit earlier than what I would have done, but I don't really want to get any colour on this because I think he's he's a nice little fish as he is. If I can put colour on it, that's brilliant. I like a fiddle and faff with an ink pen forever. This ink pen is probably my favourite, other than acrylic. It is probably my favourite. Oh, I'm sure yours is as good care. I just don't want it. I don't want to put colour in. Don't think he needs it. I don't think the other one needs it. I don't think this one does. I think he's happy in his black and whiteness today. So there he is, our little koi carp, all with a pencil and a new pen. Next week, next week I am thinking about horses, horses heads. They are quite, now I want to say they're, they're simple to draw. I think we could do them because I think with a lot of straightforward shapery jiggery pokery i think we could get a horse's head drawn and i think that will be it then for our natural animal section and i want to then move on to animation i want to go old school so i'm looking at doing after next week's horse introducing some classic Disney characters so I would like to do um, Minnie Mouse, Donald Duck, Dopey so if you fancy doing those after we've done Horsey next week then pencil me in but that is it for now I'll leave you back with our fishy and I will see you all next week have a lovely week. Take care. Bye.